Hello, hello, this is Margaret Ann Lembo. Hey, the, we're behind the scenes today here in the Angel Room at the Crystal Garden. And I'm really excited and happy to do this. I think it's kind of fun. We're getting ready to start um, a podcast. <laughs> See, this is, this is, I'm getting ready to record. This is how this works. So I've been, um, pricing gemstones today and having a blast doing that. Had lunch with a friend and now I'm back at the store and pricing gemstones again and I got so many new rocks. So if you guys are, you know, interested, go to thecrystalgarden.com. You'll see some of them on, on the website. We're still getting them out of the boxes. If you live in Palm Beach County or in South Florida, take a drive a man the crystal garden we're in boynton beach come on over so i've been recording podcasts now for maybe four weeks three weeks maybe this is the fourth week and the whole reason that i'm doing this is because of my new book animal totems and the gemstone kingdom and so today's podcast which i'm going to start, one minute until showtime repeat this in a few moments again because we're getting ready to record we're going to be talking about owl owl medicine the truth the whole truth and nothing about the truth <laughs> and um i find that working with animals working with the symbolism that animals brings forth to us and for us is very helpful in understanding what's going on giving us clues about the future giving us insights and awareness in order to help awaken consciousness you know so i'm going to pause here for just a moment because we're going to it's going i'm going to be like 20 seconds away from starting and then i'll start again for recording here on the actual blog talk radio your show will go live in five seconds four three Two, one. Love, hope, radio. Welcome, welcome. Margaret Ann Lembo here. Hey, podcast today is on owl medicine and the truth. Animal allies and the matching gemstones. You know, for those of you that may know me over the years, I have a book club on Facebook. It's called Margaret Ann Lembo's Book Club. And so this is now also simultaneously being recorded as a Facebook Live event. And also there's a camera behind this camera <laughs> that is recording it for YouTube. So this is quite fun and a great idea. I'm glad that my assistant Kate thought of it and we're just adding layers and layers to uh, sharing information. So today, the subject is owl medicine. And the matching gemstone is blue tourmaline, which is also new, known as indicolite. So I don't come across blue tourmaline all that often. It's a, a little bit rarer of a gemstone, and at, at least in my experience. Now, I have a lot of rocks across the hall in the wholesale room, and we're unpacking those, but there isn't any indicolite. So what, oh, indicolite is also another name for blue tourmaline. So let's say, I'm going to jump ahead to talking about the gemstone first. Let's say that you really need a gemstone, that you want a gemstone that's going to help you with the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, owl medicine, and clarity. There are lots of gemstones. So what I've done in Animal Totems and the Gemstone Kingdom, which is what this podcast is about just one of the many animals there's 88 animals in here um, is that I've listed other vibrationally matching gemstones to utilize at the same time so the ones that I would go to first to go with um, owl medicine is sapphire sapphire is a good one blue uh, and iolite iolite would work amazonite amazonite Let's see, did I put a mazonite in here? No. So there's even more than what I've listed in the book. So why is owl about the truth and the whole truth? 
Um, because owl has the ability to see in the dark. They, and this is symbolic of seeing, sensing, hearing, knowing, the six clairs, if you will, clairvoyance, seeing, clairaudience, hearing, claircognizance, you just know, clairsentience, I got a feeling, I got a feeling, and then um, clairgustation, which is the sense of taste, and clairolfaction, the sense of smell, and what happens is we utilize all of these senses all the time, because that's how we are in life, but the other aspect of this is that in addition we also utilize all six senses, seeing, hearing, knowing, feeling, smelling, and tasting on a beyond the ordinary level. And owl medicine is one ally, the owl is an ally to help with amplifying your ability to know. Know what isn't obvious to everybody else, know what isn't being said, know what isn't being shown to you. So over the years, owl has come to me as my primary power animal. Now, how did I find that out? And you may want to know, well, Margaret Ann, how do I find out what is my primary power animal? How do I get to know who it is? Well, I think it's personal for everybody. I don't think anybody can tell you this is your power animal. No. My opinion is, is that we uncover it, we discover it. They may show up in dreams, they may show up repetitively in um, uh, life, in life, you know, you might come across an owl in your path, so to speak. Let me tell you, there was one day, um, many moons ago, it had to be the 80s, and I was coming home from a night of disco dancing, because yes, I was a disco queen, and I loved to go dancing, and I came home really late at night, because back when in the 80s, when I stayed up really late, I wouldn't go out until like 11 o'clock at night. And um, so we didn't get, I didn't get home until three or four often, you know, when I was going disco dancing. And that's all I was doing is really legitimately dancing. I loved it. Anyway, I got home and I lived at a condo at the time. I lived at that condo for 24 years. And these little baby owls, they were like, six or eight inches maybe you know not very big we're sitting on the on the railing on my on the catwalk in front of my condo and at first being a recently transplanted brooklynite girl from brooklyn new york i was like whoa this is spooky but then i realized wow this is powerful now i had also gone to fau at florida atlantic university and that is also the mascot or the totem for Florida Atlantic University because they live on that land or have in the past. So there's all different ways that owl kept showing up and there's many other stories that go with owl showing up in my life. But what I noticed was as I trusted myself, as I believed myself and my intuition, which takes a lot of courage and a lot of self-confidence, I realized that I was already receiving insights and information that wasn't obvious to everybody else. It's sort of like, doesn't anybody else notice that the emperor is not wearing any clothes, so to speak, if you know what that analogy or talk, what that means. Um, so basically, it's to see what isn't being shown and to help you with that and with clarity getting clarity in your life. So one way to use owl medicine, to call on owl as an ally, is to say, okay, I need to get clarity on something and I really need to see behind the scenes. Oh, this is perfect. I'm calling this little episode Behind the Scenes with Margaret Ann Lembo podcast. And here we are behind the scenes with owl medicine. Perfect. It's being revealed to you what I do. So normally I'm in my home office doing this, but I was across the hall pricing rocks <laughs> and I'm here in the angel room today. So, okay. The other thing I want to bring up is that owl medicine is in the vibration of the east and the wheel of life. And, and in my book, I do have an indication of where each animal's location is in the wheel of life. Also, some of you know it as 
um, medicine wheel, med medicine wheel. So Owl is located on the eastern quadrant of the medicine wheel, and that's where clarity and perspective are gained. So eagle, hawk, owl, macaw, uh, parrots, um, most winged beings, winged ones, they would be primarily located in the east doorway where the sun rises, where we wake up in the morning and know and answer to something that we want or need. Also, um, also the uh, reason I chose indicolite, blue tourmaline, is because indicolite, blue tourmaline, sapphire, iolite are all stones of wisdom. And owl is very much associated with wisdom. Uh, Athena, right? Athena, I think I even wrote about it a little bit in here. In mythology, Owl is a companion of Athena, Greek, and Minerva, Roman. By either name, these are the goddesses of wisdom. Athena is known as Pallas, Pallas Athena. It is said that Athena's owl sat on her blind side so that she would always see or know the truth. In many cultures, owls are known for, as symbols for spiritual and intellectual wisdom. Well, also ironically, much to my dismay, but it was a big lesson that was great, is that back in 1999, no, 2000 or 2001, I was blind in my left eye for a short period of time. I had a quick, uh, what it, challenge with optic neuritis and god bless uh, all well and happy and healthy in fact i recently had my cataracts out so i made sure that that was you know checked thoroughly and i have my very healthy optic nerve but that was also the left side and owl medicine was already predominant in my life and i paid attention that i was needing to see or know the truth in some matter what am i not seeing what am i not looking at and so what I like to do with also animals as allies and the gemstone is utilize them to help awaken an awareness for mindfulness, for awakening consciousness, for contemplative thought. I don't know. I, the, my main time for contemplative thought is when I get myself in my swimming pool. Uh, those of you that know me already know that I love to take time to swim in my pool. And when I'm out in my pool, I'm out in nature, I see, I feel like I'm getting a forest bath, if you will. There's a, a new book out about forest bathing. And I love that terminology. I'm bathing in nature. And while I'm out there, in addition to praying quite a bit, I like to pray in the pool uh, for many, many reasons and many people. So that's, uh, if you feel a good vibe, I might be sending you a prayer, <laughs> more than likely am. Um, I utilize that time for con contemplation, to contemplate different scenarios and to understand something more completely in my life. I also sometimes get ideas when I'm in the pool and that helps, but my shower time is a good time for ideas. So let's take a quick moment here for a message from the owl. So this is straight out of my book, Animal Totems and the Gemstone Kingdom. Spiritual Connections of Crystal Vibrations and Animal Medicine. Contemplate this. I'm going to start with this. Contemplate this. Are you able to hear what isn't being spoken aloud? Can you read between the lines? Do you know what, is, what hasn't been revealed? When you are certain that someone is telling the truth or not, don't second guess yourself, believe yourself. Studying and learning are good habits for overall well-being. You are wise. Engage in illuminating activities, such as meditation, contemplation, and reflection, to better understand the true nature of reality. And that will further illuminate spiritual truths for you. So the message from the owl is, it is time to align with your inner mystic. So that's even something to contemplate. What does that mean to you? What is the inner mystic? 
What does that mean? Look beneath the surface in both the spiritual and the mundane worlds. Be the spiritual seeker and find deeper truths. Tune into your dreams and remember them. Interpret your dreams so they can provide you with guidance and knowledge. So I am a big proponent of affirmations. So I'm going to just take a second to, to mention my deck that goes with the book. Uh, they are very much, very easy to utilize separately. It's called Animal Allies and Gemstone Guardian Cards. Animal Allies and Gemstone Guardian Cards. And they're two-sided. The, the, the deck is two-sided. So on one side is the owl, in this case, the owl, and some an affirmation, which I'm going to read out loud in a moment. And on the other side is the picture of the gemstone and the what I just read to you or a portion of what I just read to you which is the contemplative questions and some divine guidance so the affirmation from owl is hidden intentions masks and illusions are revealed to me knowledge and wisdom regarding secrets are revealed when needed it's easy for me to see the unseen and hear the unsaid I acknowledge my intuition and trust it. It is my intention to improve my spiritual sight and clairvoyant abilities. So I look at spiritual sight as more than just seeing intuitively, not just physical eyes and not just inner visions, but spiritual sight for me incorporates all of the clairs, the hearing, the knowing, the sensing and feeling, smelling and tasting and allowing all of those to blend together to bring insight awareness and truth i think that's it for today i feel like that completes it um i really appreciate any of you that are listening to this in this exact moment live i i can see sort of far away in this uh phone because i have a phone in front of me that's recording it for my book club page now that's on Facebook Margaret Ann Limbo's book club so I know there are people watching and then I'm also recording for YouTube so if you see me looking here and then looking up back and forth for those of you that are watching it's because we're recording on two cameras at the same time what a kick multi-dimensional <laughs> well um, I want to thank you thank you for dropping by. Thanks for listening. I hope it brought some inspiration ideas or a message for you today. Um, if you need further insight on any of the gemstones I mentioned, you know that the Essential Guide to Crystals, Minerals, and Stones is our, it's a great resource to read more, to go deeper, to understand on many levels. I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and for listening. May your days be filled with blessings and love, and may your angels light your path. Thanks so much. Blessings. Okay, so I'm ending the episode. Right. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, little Blog Talk Radio. Thank you so much, and I'm just going to click some buttons here so I can send a message to listen to the new episode. So if you wanted to listen to this again, obviously you can come back onto Facebook Live. You can obviously be on YouTube and play it again. And um, also on blogtalkradio.com forward slash Margaret Ann Lembo, you can listen to any of my podcasts, or prior recordings, meditations online. So now I'm going to end the videos and I'll hopefully see you in person soon. Thank you.